expect catastrophes everywhere and we are afraid of something that isn't there or isn't there yet. But we worry and sometimes that's really stressful because yes, we expect the worst so it doesn't surprise us when it happens and we can prepare for it. But sometimes that just doesn't do anything but stress us and that's not okay. For example, we walk our dog and there is a crossing and we have to decide if we want to go left or right. And we start thinking and we start overthinking that and we imagine that if we go right, there could be other dogs and it could end in disaster because our dog is leaf reactive and that's horrible. And every time that happens, it's really stressful and it's really hurtful and it's really crappy and we don't like that and we want to avoid that so we don't go right. But if we go left, the neighbors do have a dog and if that dog is in the yard, it could run up to the fence and it could bark and our dog is gonna react and it's gonna be horrible and it's gonna be very frightening, it's gonna be hurtful and it's gonna be stressful and we don't want to do that so we don't go left. Okay, that leaves going back but if we go back maybe our dog doesn't like that and maybe he will freak out and maybe he will run around and maybe he will pull on the leash and maybe that's gonna be horrible and that's not gonna be something nice and we want to avoid that so we don't go back where does that leave us (laughs) it leaves us on a crossing where we cannot go right we cannot go left and we cannot go back so we're stuck And that happens so very often in life, not only with our dogs, but with very, very, very many situations. We expect horrible things and that just paralyzes us and it doesn't do us any good. And what I think is very useful in those situations is to ask ourselves, is it true? Is it true that if we go right, There will be other dogs and our dog will react and it will be horrible. Is it true or is it imaginary? Same goes for if we go left. Of course, if we are afraid of dog encounters and we see in front of the neighbor, there are three cars with six people and three dogs. Of course, it's true. We will have a dog on dog meeting and if our dog cannot handle that or if, or if we can't handle that then of course it's true and we should avoid that but if we just are afraid that it could happen then after the is it true question and the answer is no it can also be it might be yes but we don't know And that's a situation where we should ask ourselves, if the situation does come up, are we able to handle it? If we have trained our dog to be comfortable in a situation where we meet another dog because we have some management techniques and we have some signals and we have all that nice things, do we really have to be afraid anymore? Is it true? So if we go right, and we do meet another dog, is it gonna be horrible? Or do we have strategies to cope with situations? And if we go back and we are afraid that our dog will, I don't know, freak out because he doesn't want to backtrack, is it really gonna be horrible? Or do we have the possibility to act before our dog freaks out? Because we know he will. So maybe we can distract him or do something with him engage with him before he can freak out so he doesn't have to or if it happens is it gonna be horrible or do we have some kind of tool that will bring him back to normal so i don't know a hand target or something like that so is it possible to solve the problem without any bad consequences and if the answer is yes then we have an option and I think that's a way better idea than just give in to fears, especially when they are imaginary. 
or the outcomes or the consequences we fear are imaginary. If you really ask yourself these questions, you will see that most of the time it's not true. And the other times you have a way out. You have the tools to resolve the situation into something that's okay. At least okay, not fun. Maybe you will go back with your dog and you will do a little exercise or something like that. So you have fun with your dog while you go back. How about that? It was frightening, but it can turn into something fun. How about that? So you see, very often we don't have to freak out. We don't have to get crazy about things that didn't even happen. <laughs> because we just have to look at it from a little bit of a different perspective and be a little open to suggestions, our own suggestions. We don't need them to come from somewhere outside. We just need to ask ourselves how we can deal with the situation if it does come up.